Hi everyone, welcome to my review of How the West Was Won, directed by George Marshall, Henry Halfway, and John Ford from 1962. That's yes, we are back once again, ready to discuss another Western on the channel this time around. How the West Was Won, a very fascinating film here and uh, very unique and quite a big film, of course, that I'd never seen uh, until recently. Um, so, look forward to discussing this film today. There will be a spoiler warning for this discussion. If you haven't seen this film, I simply recommend seeing it first and then come back to this video and uh, we can go from there. We can talk about this film in the comments and all things Westerns. Uh, so, yes. With all that said, let's discuss my thoughts on this film, and uh, yeah, a really intriguing film, one that I was very hyped to see, obviously I'm a massive, massive Western fan, uh, everyone, you know, watching the channel knows that, and uh, this is, you know, one that I just never got around to, and I uh, was part of the set behind me, of course, um, you know, finally seeing the fifth um, one of the set that, for me to see, obviously, and uh, I'd seen all the other films uh, in this, and um, yeah, I think um, this is the one that was just so intriguing to me with the, the cast, obviously, a massive, massive ensemble cast. And the actual process as well of this with the free strip Cinerama uh, kind of process here, um, you know, it was really fascinating to kind of um, finally see this film and uh, to see it, you know, on Blu-ray, of course, and uh, there are some, obviously, issues um, with a film like this, um, regardless of, you know, uh, what the transfer is like, really, on, on, on you know, DVD, Blu-ray, with the actual aspect ratio and all this, um, which, you know, I, I kind of, um, I knew going into this, um, but still, there was definitely some issues for me uh, with the actual, um, this whole kind of uh, Cinerama, um, you know, effect and, uh, you know, including, of course, the lions, uh, which we'll quickly know, you know, originally there was the kind of, you could see the, the lions, uh, the, the two lions, of course, because there's three different, in, in effect, three different cameras uh, kind of um, joined up uh, in that sense. So you have this kind of effect uh, you did previously, you could really um, definitely tell uh, with these separations with the lions there, um, but, you know, with the Blu-ray um, that I watched, um, they did attempt to kind of clean this up and, uh, you know, remove the kind of joins there um, so you can see this, um, but obviously you can still actually see um, very, at least for me, I could very easily see this in pretty much all the scenes, uh, you know, you can actually see just the kind of the smudge uh, line going down and then again, uh, so there's two of them, uh, you know, on the screen and uh, that, was, that was something as well that wasn't ideal for me, um, it did kind of um, put me off a little bit, um, but, you know, I got used to it because I get a bit, you know, sensitive to things like that, you know, on the screen, uh, you know, and it's just something I did get used to, um, but at first especially it was a bit off-putting, um, and yeah, I think there are definitely some issues with this film, um, you know, regardless of um, that, including um, the actual visuals of the film as well, with the kind of, um, the way in which this is, of course, ultra-wide, uh, you know, this looks absolutely stunning, I will say, um, for landscape shots, and, uh, you know, I think... The whole, you know, presentation of this, uh, you know, and just the, the effect, you know, the epic scope and feel of this uh, was quite remarkable, you know, after seeing the film, I definitely got a lot from it visually, and, uh, you know, I can say it was just absolutely stunning, you know, at the times, you know, the landscape shots, just these massive vistas, um, you know, the colours, the kind of, the detail, the depth, um, you know, the actual sweep of this uh, was stunning, and uh, I love the film for that, you know, but I think when there are characters, you know, kind of um, staged uh, in this film, most of the film, yeah, um, in this, uh, you know, kind of Cinerama, uh, you know, effect, you know, it kind of hinders that, and I think the way the characters are kind of staged, I know there was issues uh, with the production, and uh, it was very hard to kind of, you know, pull off in this sense, um, but, you know, still, the end result, you know, I think it does, uh, you know, it kind of baffles me as to, you know, at times who I'm meant to be looking at, you know, and can I, I can't quite get a look at a lot of the characters because they're so far away, their faces, and um, that is obviously due to the process of this, and, uh, you know, it seems like sometimes you have to kind of get a telescope to actually see some of the actors. You know, John Wayne, of course, you know, one of my favourite actors, is in this film uh, quite briefly. Um, but, you know, regardless of how long he was in the film, I couldn't quite get a look at him. You know, it was a bit sad um, to see, you know, a lot of actors kind of come and go and um, just not really get truly invested in, in the emotions a lot of the time in, in certain scenes and, and sequences. Great for the vistas, of course, you know, this uh, process uh, and the way this was shot, uh, you know, and the massive sweeping moments, uh, these huge sequences, and some of the action, of course, the train uh, action set piece at the end uh, was, you know, a real highlight, um, but, you know, when it's kind of dealing with more emotional, kind of um, personal stuff, you know, in the film and, uh, you know, character moments, a lot of the time it does hinder that, you know, so I think that's something to know, you know, the overall film, uh, my thoughts on that, and, uh, you know, I think it was great, you know, a novel kind of uh, thing to, to experience. Uh, I'd never experienced a film obviously like this, and uh, it did look stunning at times, you know, it has some shots that are some of the best Western shots I've ever seen, um, but, you know, when it's kind of dealing with the story, obviously, and the actual characters and some of the, uh, more some scenes more in particular than others, you know, I think, and there are, because there are moments at uh, first that it didn't really hinder as much, um, but, you know, it's just when there's kind of more personal, kind of dealing with, um, you know, kind of uh, precise emotions and uh, 
characters, uh, you know, quite a lot of characters on the screen as well, trying to fit them all on, you know, on the screen. And it's just kind of, who do I really, who am I meant to really get invested in here? And uh, it's just a bit of a shame uh, that that does, does kind of hinder, you know, my experience uh, in that sense. Uh, but it's great as an epic, you know, in that sense, visually. Um, but yeah, this film, you know, I think in a nutshell, um, you know, you've got, you know, a massive cast and, uh, you know, I think great visuals at times, as I've said, you know, wonderful music, an ambitious film here, it's attempting to kind of explore how the West, you know, was won and lost, uh, you, know, you know, quite a few decades here, kind of spanning, and uh, you've got three main uh, different kind of um, stories, if you will, five, you know, actual segments, and, uh, you know, we follow, of course, at first, this, you know, group of characters, uh, you know, for around, um, well, less than 50 minutes, and then it jumps again, and it kind of, at one point, you know, we, you know, I was realising, okay, we've got we get one kind of um, family or a group of characters, one story that does kind of feed throughout the entire film, and, uh, you know, that was, um, you know, it's something that was quite cool at first, um, but then again, it did kind of take away, unfortunately, from, uh, you know, my, just, you know, the later sequences and, you know, kind of getting invested in those ones that were being introduced and, uh, you know, just who can I really, who am I meant to really be following? It was a bit too much. Um, so despite the ensemble cast and, uh, you know, the ambitious film that this is, uh, you know, I think at times the, you know, it was just too big, you know, for its own good at times, uh, you know, I feel, and it never really quite after that first, you know, kind of story, um, you know, for me, settled in and got, you know, truly, uh, you know, allowed me to truly get invested, you know, in these characters and uh, these kind of um, stories, you know, within this, uh, you know, wider narrative, of course. And I think that's a shame. Uh, the first sequence, though, um, you know, I did really like. Um, so that's a shame. And I think, um, you know, it's definitely my favourite part of the film. Uh, really, really good uh, at times. And, uh, you know, just very investing. Jimmy Stewart, you know, is great in this kind of sequence. Uh, Carl Malden as well, you know, was great here, you know, I think uh, Agnes Moorhead, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, kind of massive actors here, and this one just worked for me, it really did, and, uh, you know, I got very invested, it was a, a nice tone, it was more a bit more comedic, and uh, taking itself less seriously, and, uh, you know, I think, um, until the kind of rapid sequence, which I think went on a bit too long, you know, it was a, maybe a minute or two, it could have been trimmed, uh, you know, until that, I just consistently really enjoyed, uh, you know, this kind of uh, sequence, again, we've got some of the issues of so when the characters introduced, um, they're all sitting there, of course, by the river, and, um, you know, again, they're a bit too far back, uh, you know, within the frame, and, uh, you know, kind of um, certain long shots, it's, it's kind of like you do need you know, kind of a telescope to kind of see, you know, the actors' uh, faces, um, but, you know, overall, you know, really enjoyed this uh, sequence, which is why I was kind of disappointed overall, you know, I was disappointed in the film, uh, because after that, you know, I found myself just, you know, lost, uh, you know, a bit lost uh, with this film, and, uh, you know, I didn't really ever truly get invested in, you know, the second sequence, of course, Gregory Peck, you know, a uh, variety of actors here that show up uh, for the sequence and don't really return, um, and, you know, actors, again, that I absolutely love, um, but, you know, it's just to no avail at times, really, uh, this one, and I think there's a lot, you know, of ambition, a lot of passion into this film, and so much, you know, production, uh, that it's just, you know, remarkable to look at, and, uh, you know, just massive scope, um, but again, the second story, uh, main story, and then the final one as well, um, obviously a lot of uh, massive kind of themes are packed into here, you know, the railroad and all this, and I think, again, the action set piece, you know, the end uh, with the kind of um, train here, you know, I did really enjoy at times, and, uh, you know, I thought it was quite thrilling, and it worked uh, really well, um, and Eli Wallach, I thought, brought a lot of energy to the film in this kind of segment, uh, but, you know, I think it's just, once again, I wasn't uh, ever truly invested in this, and uh, it wasn't, it was just something that was dragging on for me, um, really, and uh, we've got a buffalo sequence, you know, in that final act, uh, really, uh, or, or the final story, and, uh, you know, that was just, uh, went on for far too long, and I didn't really see the point in that, you know, three minutes or so of just uh, buffaloes, you know, kind of stampeding, uh, which obviously uh, would have been, you know, fine, and, you know, it looked, you know, pretty amazing, and it was a thrilling sequence at first, um, but then it just went on for far too long, and I think that's one of the things about this film, uh, you know, at times it seems like there's not enough, you know, time to actually pack in this massive scope, this narrative, and other times it's kind of fixated on um, things that I don't think really needed to be that long, uh, like the rapids and like the buffalo sequence, uh, two, you know, prime examples of just um, things that it could have been 30 seconds or so or, or a minute or two, and uh, it went on for way longer than that, you know, both of these parts, and it just kind of uh, took me out of the film, and, uh, you know, I think the wonderful kind of um, aerial shot at first, uh, going through the mountains, you know, absolutely stunning, and the way the film ends, you know, it's just great to see the transformation over time of the, the cities and all this, and uh, it's just, you know, it really is something else I loved, uh, that moment at the end, uh, you know, it's a really ambitious film here, and uh, one that I really wish overall I'd uh, kind of enjoyed this experience way more. I did get some emotion, you know, as the film went on, you know, even in the, the second and third story, you know, we, uh, we obviously learn uh, Jimmy Stewart's character of uh, Linus, uh, could 
you know, he did die and, uh, you know, seeing the graves of, you know, this family over time, uh, more graves appearing, uh, that was one of the things that I think with the, the through line, it did work uh, very well. And I think I did feel a lot of emotion, even though Jimmy Stewart's character did not show up again, really, in the film, uh, you know, it's just looking back and it's kind of thinking, oh, that, that is really sad. Um, you know, it did have that effect on me. And, um, you know, seeing this family in particular, you know, kind of, um, kind of appearing in some sense throughout all the film. And uh, that was definitely, you know, affecting. And uh, I did praise the film for that, you know, but I think just the way the film ends, uh, you know, it's just a very empty uh, feeling overall. And, uh, you know, I thought the music is great, wonderful music, uh, emotional music, uh, you know, upbeat as well, and just magical at times. Uh, the visuals at times, absolutely stunning. You know, the detail, so rich in detail and color and uh, just, you know, unbelievable shots at times. Um, but, you know, it's just not enough um, for the overall two hour, 45 minute runtime um, to sustain that. It's, it's nearly two hours of the film and I'm not consistently truly behind and invested in and for that, I don't think, you know, it was a, it's a film that I overall could say, you know, that I firmly, you know, liked. Um, but I, you know, if I could separate, you know, the first kind of story from the film and, you know, that was its own film, you know, because it is over 40 minutes, um, then yeah, you know, I would say that I liked the film quite a bit, you know, but again, that was my favourite part. And after that, it did take a massive dip for me and uh, just in the narrative, in the investment of the characters and uh, the overall, you just, um, you know, kind of, the entertainment value of this, um, you know, it's a great novel effect, uh, you know, it's a real epic, you know, experience and, uh, you know, I think the visuals, as I say, and just the actual production to this, um, so much went into this, you know, the passion and, uh, you know, it's just trying to tell this, you know, massive story, um, but I think it just, it really was a bit of a drag at times and, uh, you know, I think just a real disappointment for me, um, it wasn't personal enough and, um, you, you know, at times I'm just, I think, it was quite superficial, um, you know, in the second story and uh, just some of the, the, the kind of story beats there didn't really, I didn't really connect to some of the characters there at all. Gregory Peck's character, uh, when he was introduced, um, I felt a bit of coldness, you know, in the story here and I just wasn't really behind that. You know, the first one was really just, I felt, you know, sincerity and uh, it was just way more related what I found, uh, you know, with the kind of uh, Jimmy Stewart character and the way this romance was done and all this, uh, it was just very, uh, you know, absorbing and, uh, you know, I think at the same time we have this kind of, um, I wonder what the rest of the film will be like and uh, you know kind of this you know subtle these subtle moments you know kind of um of character building and world building and uh, you know i think just the setting up this whole kind of um narrative this uh you know massive epic and i think it was very well done at first um, but it did lose its way and as i say it just um you know i wasn't invested in the rest of the film really fully and uh moments that i did enjoy obviously certain sequences here and there um but the overall you know the rest of the film for nearly two hours you know i just wasn't wasn't truly behind and uh, yeah, as I say, for that, you know, I think this is underwhelming for me and uh, again, the rating I give this film, uh, you know, I think would, would definitely reflect uh, the overall experience. I have to take everything into account and um, despite, you know, the fact that I really did enjoy um, the first story of the film, it would be, you know, kind of, for example, I would say like a four stars rounded, so a really high, you know, be a really high score for me, uh, that kind of sequence and, uh, you know, I think um, that whole kind of story and, uh, you know, it was just like, yeah, I was thinking, I can't wait for the rest of the film, um, but you know, I think the rest of the film, because I didn't really enjoy that, you know, anywhere near as much, and at times I didn't like, um, you know, the film, uh, you know, it was it was quite boring to me, just because I wasn't invested truly. The, the Cinerama kind of process did hinder, you know, my kind of uh, enjoyment at times, and, uh, you know, I think really getting into the personal kind of uh, feelings of the characters, and uh, it just kind of, it's like people, you know, on, on a set, you know, just kind of uh, filming, from, seeing from afar, and it's not really truly involving me, you know, in that kind of, uh, kind of, you know, a set of characters that kind of show up in, in, in the second and third story and, and, you know, that whole kind of experience. I'm just not really there, you know, in in the frame. I'm just kind of observing from afar and, uh, you know, I think that was a shame. It didn't really affect the film at first, uh, you know, in that first sequence. Uh, but yeah, as I say, it would have been a really high score for me uh, judging on that first, you know, kind of story uh, with Jimmy Stewart and, uh, you know, it's just, um, yeah, I really did enjoy that, that part of the film. And so my overall rating for this film is a 59%. Uh, that's just, you know, taking everything into account, as I say, and, uh, you know, I think it's just ever so slightly under par. So it's not, you know, a, a bad score for me at all. Um, and it's not one that is, is, it's got a firmly mediocre kind of um, score that I give it. You know, I just think it is very, you know, very close to being, you know, the average uh, kind of like, um, but I think there was just one too many sequences um, where we have uh, moments that drag on for me and I wasn't really enjoying the film. Um, so I have to be, you know, kind of uh, take everything into account here. And, uh, you know, even though throughout the rest of the film, you know, the, the vistas, the experience of this visually at times was stunning and the music, of course, love the music in the film and, uh, you know, the acting at times was, it was really impressive. Um, you know, I think it just, as a, you know, in the sense of the character and the story it's telling and 
the overall kind of um, connection to the film and you know enjoyment and entertainment value um, was just not there for me um, throughout a lot of the film. I would recommend the film obviously um, to anyone really um, that is interested in westerns, um, but you know as a western fan, it just didn't quite do it for me. And uh, you know it's one that's quite baffling. Uh, you know it's it's over long in places, drawn out, um, but then again it feels. Very, um, there's a lot going on in this. Um, it seems like it should have been as well. At the same time, longer. Um, so it's a quite a baffling film, and uh, you know, at times visually stunning, at times visually, you know, it's hindered by the visuals, you know, in a sense. And uh, that's one of the things uh, about this one. But yeah, overall, you know, I definitely say, um, you know, I've got a lot from this. It was very inspiring, and uh, you know, I think that first story, as I say, um, really enjoyed. Um, but overall, yeah, it's just. It's a film that, that was, wasn't quite there for me. Um, yeah, it wasn't wasn't quite there, and uh, you know, I think very nearly. Um, but overall, just a bit of a uh, you know, uh, yeah, a, a drag of an experience, and uh, one that you know I didn't fully um, you know get engaged by throughout. So that's my thoughts. What do you think on this film? It'd be really great to hear in the comments. You know, your thoughts on this, your experiences, and uh, how you've viewed this film, and uh, just you know, your overall you know opinion on this film. And I'd be really great to hear discuss this, uh, of course, in the comments and uh, more westerns to come, uh, many more to come on the channel um, to talk about, to, you know, just Western content. Um, always love talking about Westerns. Uh, this one, obviously, overall, you know, not, not a film that I was big on, um, but, you know, it's definitely an experience uh, that I'm glad, you know, that I kind of took part in. And, um, yeah, it was, it was definitely an event uh, film, um, so it was really cool. And I would, yeah, be really great to hear your thoughts in the comments, you know, on this film, and so we can discuss the film today and all things Westerns, uh, of course. So, yes, as always, take care and thanks for watching.